सो ही व्हाट्सअप गजन पेज थ्री हियर एंड वेलकम बैक एन अदर एक्साइटेड एलमेंट थ्री ट्यूटोरियल सो इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट सम बिजनेस कार्ड प्रोमो डिजाइन दिस कैन बी आल्सो अ प्रोमो डिजाइन इफ यू डिड नॉट सीन माई प्रीवियस ट्यूटोरियल वेयर आई शो यू हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट द क्लीन एंड कूल मिनिमल डिजाइन थ्री डी फोन प्रोमो डिजाइन समथिंग लाइक दैट यू नो पीपल आर यूजिंग फॉर मोकअप्स सो यू कैन चेक on this i button or you can directly go on my channel and you can visit and there are a, a lots of cool 3d tutorial why i made this is in a two part because uh, in this tutorial i will show you something a uh, little bit different because you know how to place this is in a front and this is in a back and there are many things maybe i will make it little bit fast so there are three design which i made but i will show you one and once you know how to make one you can create anyone this time let's jump inside photoshop and let's start creating but before that let me show you something i created my own version of subscribe notification and bell icon so on the screen you can see so i i hope you are enjoying this so here i made a two composition and the composition size is okay so uh, on google i just searched uh, what is the size of business card and i got 3.5 inch into 2 and i just put it here and i just created a new comp i mean the new uh, composition whatever this is and i start building so in this one i will not try i mean i will not show you how to build but you can see i just simply created a shape layers i don't know uh, too much about photoshop so i and this is a blur and i just put my logo and these are few of the quotation and that's it this is front page and for the back side i i did the same things i just created this you know the streak lines i just input my nps 3d here i just did everything and you know i i just loaded the few png and that's it and once you made it save it as psd because we are going to use that psd not as png because in when you save psd you can directly load the psd here let me show you how so let's see i have this business card and i will just dra drag and drop it here or i will just simply import and i will get these types of you know panel so i will choose composition editable layer style and i will hit okay and it will create a new you know composition with that psd file and now i have a too much of control and i will show you how so i'll just delete it here i mean just cut it here let's make a new composition and let's create a new solid press control space a3d now i will drag this is back uh, load also the front one and same for this one so on here you can see this is front design and this is back design and that's it let's load this both in here so i'll go to the custom texture layer and i will load this in a front and this is in a back now let's go to the scene setup create a new plane and the size is different so i will uh, make the size 3.2 into 2 so now this is the same size now i will rename it to the front and i'll duplicate it and make this back let's hide this first one second one and let's select the first one go to the material and load here you know you can see it's very easy make sure this is two sided select this and add this so now you can see only the front one but i will make it from both side and let's select the second copy and i will make a new material and i'll apply it and in here in this material i will choose the back and we did it but the problem is let me make it little bit front the problem is you know this is very thin so how to make it little bit thicker so i will make a new cube and i will put the same dimension so like i will put 3.2 here and two here and height i will just decrease it and i'll make the bevel very little this size is pretty good for the card i'll make it here and this back side i will make it here so right now you can see this is flipped so you can flip the transaction from here and this will fixed so it's good or you can just simply rotate it if you want so this is good and we done it so let's optimize this 
and this is good for now and let's make our base another box and i will scale it big so maybe five five three and five so this is big and i will select these three things and i'll drag and make it a, another comp and and this will be a card so comp means group so i will hope you let's select this box and you can just scale this box even more or you can just simply down the scale of this card so i will down the scale of card maybe around 20% let's rotate it and place it here and let's duplicate this card press alt and drag and duplicate it here and you can just rotate it with shift select this both card and place it where the surface is so it's good now what i can do i can just simply apply a texture on this box let's make the size a little bit more bigger so make six and let's go to the procedures and let's go to the plaster uncheck draft textures and let's apply uh, so maybe i will use this one i will remove unused material to remove unwanted unused material and i'll select this box and go to the uv mapping and i'll choose to the box repeat and i will repeat it to maybe four by four and uh, let's put three so it's good Let's select this material, go to the diffuse section and make the saturation minus 100. Increase the brightness, increase the contrast and a little bit down the gamma and pretty much we done it. We can also uh, down the, you know, this bump. Let's go to the environment map and load a HDRI. So it's, it, this one looks good. So hit OK and let's add a new camera. Let's add 80 millimeter. Press C and let's zoom to here looking good so let's go to the element 3d render settings and enable ambient occlusion and make this ray traced and let's enhance it little bit so i will make the contrast one make the gamma two distance we can make it higher or lower and everything is pretty good for now let's put front pointed you can go to the physical environment and down the gamma if you want or you can increase the gamma let's save it Let's add a new light to create shadows. In this case, I use spotlight. Let's go to the custom view and control shift H to unhide everything and make it. I think I should decrease the intensity. So I will make it 100. Hit OK. Go to the active camera and let's go to the element 3D. Go to the shadows and enable shadows, ray traced shadows and looking good. Yeah, it's looking good. Go to the custom view again and make it from this side maybe. And this is also looking good. So everything is up to you what you prefer. Let's go to spotlight and increase the intensity a little bit. So maybe 150 custom view active camera. It's good. Or you can place the light on top. Go to the element 3D and go to the ambient occlusion and remove it. And you know, you can just check it what's going on. Increase the gamma a little bit. So it's good. I think it's not properly placed on this box. So I'll go to the scene setup again to see what's going on. First, I will select this box and I will down the chamfer a little bit more and I will increase the segments. This looks good. And this time I will place this box a little bit up. Yeah, it's better than before. And you can also place something, uh, you know, just yes, duplicate this model, box model, and you can just make it smaller version like 3 by two you can just make it like this you know the you are designing so you can do it and i can now control the ambient occlusion in a good way so i can also increase the ao lightning influence to make it more correct so now it's pretty good and why i said you to use psd but before that let me show you my patreon page where you can go and support me and you can take advantage of being uh, my patreon because before uploading on youtube i upload this on my patreon page so where you can just go and use all the beautiful project file and you can also get the behind the scene what i am doing and what you know everything so here you can see i posted this on 19 august so being my patreon you can get way too much of advantage so let's jump inside after effect so this is good and let me show you the power of pre-comp so here you can see we just pre-comped pre our front and back design so i will lock this composition and i will go to the front design and i will make it here so now 
साइड बाई साइड वी कैन सी बोथ ऑफ बोथ थिंग्स सो ही आर दिस इज बैकग्राउंड सो आई विल मेक अ न्यू शॉल इट दिस गोन ऑफ यूर कॉम्प साइज एंड प्लेस इट ही आर एंड नाउ आई विल यूज अ फ्रैक्टल नॉइज आई विल यूज अ फ्रैक्टल नॉइज एंड आई विल चेंज इट टू द डायनेमिक और मे बी आई विल चेंज दिस टू द ब्लॉक यू नो यू कैन सी इफ आई विल अन हाइड इट आई विल मेक द ब्लेंडिंग मोड टू द स्क्रीन सेम आई विल डू फॉर ही आर Let me add a tint effect and make it white. It should respond. I don't know why it's not responding. Okay, I think I should place this here. Now it's responding. So now I will uh, make it little something like this, and I will add a turbulence displacement. But before all, both these two things, I will add a find edges effect. and i will place it here transform this so i will scale it maybe like this i will uh, down the complexity to maybe 1 or maybe 12 whatever i want i can just control and design this things from here uh, this find edges and on the turbulence you can also design you know you can also control the design and on the tint effect you can just control the color like which types of color you want so there are too much of a things which you can do placing psd the control is here so this is the idea how i created all these designs and i spread them all over so i hope you got the idea and once you are ready to render you can just do few things like in you can increase the samples from everywhere right now which i am doing enhance multi sampling and all these things to enhance your render and make it pretty cool and you can play play with this gamma and exposure and don't forget to watch my previous tutorial about 3D clean font design. You can also place a uh, adjustment layer here, and you can just add a camera. I mean, sorry, I, I, you can add a curse effect and make it, you know, make it little bit of like this. And if you think the, you know, the design is not looking too good, I mean, the textures of this not looking good. So you can do few things. You can just down the diffuse. You can down the glossiness. And from here, you can also down the glossiness to not make it too much of reflectivity. and it's good now it's good so this is the idea to make your renders make cool and on top of everything you can add a unsharp mask sorry you can add a unsharp mask and add a noise effect and add a 4% and this is done and once your design and your setup is ready you can do anything like you can go to the scene setup you can create multiple copies So it looks cool and you can adjust the camera again and make them in a center and it's good and you can change the textures anytime if you don't like anything so you can see this is it and you can go here again anytime and you can just make your renders even more cooler you can see the design and you can just add a brightness and contrast to make it less you can see so everything is up to you i hope you got the idea and you i hope you like the tutorial and don't forget to download the project file from my patreon page and this is it guys i hope you enjoy it a lot and uh, once you made something inside after effect or element edit tag me on instagram i will i will be very happy to see your render so this is it and now the phone and clean minimal design series i mean the tutorials are finished now we will again start working on some vfx so see you soon this is it